Hello. Today I wanted to talk about my diet during my healing process of the inguinal hernia as well as fasting. So what I ate and when I didn't eat. So as I've said in some other videos, during this time when I was trying to heal my inguinal hernia, one of the steps that I took was to take on a full vegetarian diet. So I did not eat any meat during this time. And so I've gotten a lot of comments like, okay, we know what you didn't eat. But what did you eat? Like what specifically were the foods that you ate during this time that helped to heal the hernia? So I'm just gonna kind of break down what my average diet looked like and when I fasted and stuff like that. So when I began to start to try to heal, my one of my first steps was that I was going to eat smaller meals. I had been eating very large portions for a long period of time, sort of gorging myself with big meals. So I said I was gonna eat much smaller portions. Um, I was also going to do more fasting and give my stomach time to sort of um, be empty and work to sort of uh, heal itself without having to process a bunch of food. So I had been doing intermittent fasting for several years already at this point but I decided to be a bit more strict. I had been doing like a 12 to 16 hour fast each day for a while, but I decided to start making it more strict, like always at least 16, 16 to like 18 hours of fasting each day. And then, so that would be what, eight to six hours where I could eat a couple of meals. And one day per week, which I was doing every Monday, I would completely fast. And so that would be from Sunday evening, I would have dinner, and then I would fast the full day Monday, and then Tuesday at about lunchtime, um, I would eat again. So that was about a 40 hour fast that I would do once a week, on top of, you know, 16 to, 80 not, 16 to 18 hours each day, where I would be fasting as well. So. That was the time I spent not eating. I also at one point tried a um, prolonged water fast where I did uh, three days. So yeah, 72 hour, I didn't quite make it 72 hours, it was like 68 or so, 60 something. I ended up breaking it a bit fast by having some honey. Anyway, so that was what I did as far as fasting. And I think that was super beneficial to allow my stomach time to sort of heal itself, not have to work through any food. Um, so when I was eating, this is what I would do. So when it was about time to break my fast in the afternoons generally, I would start, well I'd have a lot of water first thing in the morning, I would drink a ton of water, make sure I was well hydrated. Then I would have some uh, warm tea and the tea I would make was actually just warm water. I would chop up some ginger and a little bit of honey. And that was sort of the first thing I would usually have. I read somewhere that ginger was beneficial for um, stomach and the gut health and maybe hernia specifically. So I dove into that and was having some like fresh ginger in warm water every day. When it came to the first thing I would eat, I always broke my fast with watermelon. Here I live in uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand, and I'm lucky to have little fruit stands like pretty much on every street all over the place it's super easy to find fresh fruit so i would have watermelon and usually something else so i'd either have watermelon and apples or watermelon and dragon fruit sometimes watermelon and pineapple but i would always break my fast with some fruit um, and i had read somewhere also that uh, these watery foods um, really help to sort of work things through your stomach and your intestines and your gut and maybe start to help flush your system out. I read somewhere when I was doing my research that someone went on a prolonged watermelon fast and that had helped them to actually heal their hernia, it was just eating watermelon for maybe several weeks. So I'd always start my day off with fruit and always watermelon plus something else. When it came to my bigger meals of the day, and again they would still be a bit smaller than usual, um, Again, I live in Thailand, so I was eating a lot of rice. I would usually do fried vegetables and rice or um, some sort of, if it was street food, some sort of dish like that, whether fried rice or maybe vegetarian pad thai. Um, 
and I was eating a lot of eggs and I don't think that the eggs were necessarily healthy I just needed some sort of protein in my diet I was it was a super carb heavy diet so I needed to find my protein somewhere so I was eating a lot of eggs at that time I would always have a fried egg or um, boiled egg with my soup or with my rice or whatever another dish I was frequently having was it's called the raw symbol there's this restaurant i really like here in chiang mai it's called pure vegan heaven and they offer this uh, raw salad called the raw symbol and it's really delicious and it's just a bunch of raw good food so there's like um raw shredded carrots raw beetroot cucumbers um, lettuce of course there's different like coconut dressing um, some seaweed I think on it and some tomatoes just a bunch of really really good raw vegetables and I was eating that pretty frequently like maybe a couple times a week I would have this big bowl of just like raw vegetables and um, yeah towards the end once the hernia had been in for a while and I was getting back to, you know, doing some Muay Thai and working out and getting into some heavier training and I felt I needed more protein. I slowly reintroduced some fish into my diet and then I went back to the States to visit my family for a while and I kind of fully started eating meat again. And um, yeah, now my diet's pretty much back to like it used to be and my hernia feels okay. Sometimes if I do eat a lot of beef or something, I sort of feel some sensation in the hernia area so I'm a bit cautious I may be like half vegetarian now I do eat meat pretty much every day but I still make an effort when I'm eating out to sometimes get uh, vegetarian or vegan meals one thing I did do is pretty much completely stop drinking milk I do eat dairy products like I love cheese and ice cream sometimes who doesn't but I noticed the less I would eat that certain things had more of an effect on my body. So like, um, if I would drink milk or maybe eat cereal with milk and have like a lot of milk, my stomach would get super bloated and I would sort of have a bad reaction to it. Even though my whole life I drank a lot of milk and it was pretty normal for me growing up, you know, in the States, cereal and milk for breakfast, that's like the everyday thing. But once your body doesn't have it for a while and you reintroduce it, you see the effect it could have. So I still don't really drink milk too much. Yeah, so I think the biggest things that helped me to um, get over the hernia diet-wise were lots of raw vegetables, watery fruits, um, small meals, and just taking time with nothing in your stomach every day and every week, allowing yourself to uh, sort of process everything that's going on in there and hopefully pass some of these I don't know if there's something clogged in the intestines or, you know, who knows. A lot of things can happen down there if you're constantly feeding yourself. Your stomach needs, like, I think it's 12 hours or so to fully process everything it's eaten and empty itself out. And then has to send all that down through the intestines and everything else. So if you're constantly eating and you never give yourself time to let your stomach um, clean itself, cleanse itself, heal itself, then of course it's going to have issues and it's going to be constantly overworked and never be able to catch up on you know some of the repairs or things it needs to do. So I think spending time without eating is very essential as well. Hope this helps some of you out with uh, the process and yeah, thank you so much. Have a good one.